Hi, this is Sassy Scarborough and I'm doing Hair Fair 2021 Streaks region. This is the final region for my features of Hair Fair 2021. It closes this weekend on Sunday night. So make sure you get over there, log in your alts, do everything that you need to to help Hair Fair and the Hair Fair participants support wigs for kids. This is the Mina booth and Mina made this incredible Adana hairstyle. It's just stunning. I just love how this hair base uh, look is actually built in. So that's actually on mesh and it just looks beautiful. Then you've got different colors of the hair and the lighter you go or in the grayscale region you can also tint it. So you can go and use the color picker apply the color and that's really cute then you've got a reset so you can go back to white you can also save slots so these two are pre-saved um, so you can apply those and you can even apply it to the actual headband so again we'll reset those and go back to the colors and the headbands are just beautiful there's lots of different textures they are quite amazing and this one actually goes with my dress really well so it's just beautiful and that is the Adana hair and headband style from Mina next up we've got the Casey hairstyle and this is hat hair which you all know I love hat hairstyles and this one is just fabulous the textures that are included are so much fun vibrant then you've got the denims You've got the red leather and even a zebra print, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. You actually have a color picker in these too, so you can make it pink zebra print. And that is that one. Then you've got the HUD, so you've got highlights, which are these amazing streaked um, colors, which are just so much fun. <laughs> Let's have a look at the side. Look at this. This is just adorable. As mentioned before, I can move my ears uh, to different positions so that they can look either tucked in or I can actually even hide them depending on the style, depending on what's a better option for it, what I feel like doing. So that's a lot of fun there. And then we've also got the naturals hard I look naked <laughs> I'm wearing a dress I swear this these sorts of colors look really cute with my dress too but those are the naturals colors and then we have some ombres These are just so fun and these are all inclusive. Amazing. And that is the Casey Hat Hair by Mina in the Streaks region at Hair Fair 2021. Next up we have a breakfast combo. I love the name of that store. They came in as a hair fair accessories, uh, hair accessories designer. They've got this bridal crown silver, which I thought was fantastic. I mean, that's that's being some kind of bride, but it gave me some serious Wizard of Oz vibes, and I thought that that was so cool. I can't wait to play around with different hairstyles with this um, because I just feel fabulous. I feel very pageantry too in this this lovely gown by Pastici. So uh, that is the bridal crown silver by a Breakfast Convo. The next booth is Australia. Now, as soon as I saw the ads for the hair that was going to be featured in their booth, I was so excited. I was absolutely just blown away by the quality, the tech, the just overall look of everything. Uh, the, just, the booth itself is just amazing. I just kind of like want to lie in the middle of it. Um, the headpiece that comes with the hair is just so super stunning but so exciting because it also comes separate of the hair so you can wear any style you want no style if you want just wear the headpiece it is 
just glorious and that is the Coralia hair um, I'm going to pronounce it Coralia because it's an underwater sort of theme so I'm just going to assume that that's <laughs> how you would pronounce it I do need a hair alpha for this hairstyle so the hair on the, on its own is a back comb style now I like the waves at the front how they go like that the division parting it's a very nice hair it's a uh, Australia doesn't make hair often so if this is the start of their hair like getting back into hair that's going to be so exciting for everybody let me tell you now the add-on hair piece Coralia is beautiful look at this head piece and then it gets better than that you've got the hair piece add-on color HUD it's just beautiful uh, that beautiful pink starfish just looks amazing with my gown and then you've also got the opportunity to go a bit darker and a little bit edgier which I thought was just fantastic then you've got the hair dye HUD for the actual hair <laughs> which is so super duper cute but so super duper large and uh, it kind of filled my screen I tried to move it to make it go up and down but as soon as I touched again it spun around it's got a mind of its own but as you can see you can go very dark if you want to and just look at that I love that it's just amazing and that is the Coralia uh, hair and headpiece by Australia and then we have the Remy hair now the Remy hair oh these people that just do things for me <laughs> they don't really <laughs> Australia had no idea that I'm hat hair obsessed I'm sure but this is just a beautiful beautiful style for summer and again I saw it and I just fell in love with it it gave me real go go leader vibes um, you know go go from Juicy Bomb uh, I was like oh my goodness it's such a hat hair for her and then you've got the hair dye HUD again you can change your hair color and you've also got a color picker so you can change it you can tint it if you want to it's just adorable and then you have I didn't expect this I really didn't I looked at them in the posters and just went oh that's marvelous I want that I love everything about it as is and then I saw the HUDs and went oh my gosh I can have so many variations look at this it's just so cute and then you even get options for the straw of the hat because you know sometimes you're just putting together a look that just needs darker straw or lighter straw even and I was just blown away by those options Australia you just blew my mind I'm so happy uh, just it's just gorgeous and that is the Remy style from Australia okay so I've mentioned that I haven't gotten everything from every booth there's going to be booths that I didn't buy every single piece or grab every single gift so make sure you check them all out this one is one of my favorite things okay so <laughs> not my favorite things is in the hair and I, I love the hair don't misunderstand me but this is one of my favorite things about blogging is when I impart wisdom oh <laughs> I'm so full of crap okay so anyway the thing is that some people are so new to Second Life they never experienced system layers before Bakes on Mesh and now they have system layers going on with tattoos and hair bases and and a lot of things like that and they don't really know how uh, just freaky deaky the SLUVs are and one of the things about the SLUV is that the hair base section is a part of the head and the head is sliced into a way that's just ridiculous <laughs> here it is folks this could be a first for you but this is what people create skins and hair <laughs> faces this is it this is what skin makers and makeup artists and everything look at this is the SL version there have been improvements done by Robin Sojourner over the years but this is the one that I just happened to have in my inventory in the library so I could show you but what I wanted to make very clear is this is the hairline where you see seams occasionally okay and that has to join with up here how this joins with that is just some sort of voodoo magic but the worst part is down here and down here 
are so close to each other. This here is so close to itself that they can actually tend to bleed into each other. And what happens then with that, depending on the head, and it's not the head's fault, but depending on the head, depending on the UVs, this used to actually happen to SL avatars before we ever had mesh, is that you would put on a hair base and you would get a bleed. And this is it here. Now, the hair creator, the hair base creator is not necessarily at fault with this one because the head that she wears may not show this at all. Okay? And this is where knowing stuff comes in. So, because I knew this and because I know of voodoo magic, such as Izzy's voodoo magic, I went and grabbed her neck blenders. And because you can stack them in whatever order you like, BAM! The neck blender is covering the hair base layer, which is covering the skin. So now I don't have that bleed through. And it is perfect how I want it to look. And that is how it should be uh, without that fix. But the fact that there are things like Izzy's neck blenders available, people would use the neck blenders just to fix skin from head to body. This fixes something that has been a long issue all over SL for many, many years. And I hope it helps you. This is the Just Her Amia ponytail. It comes with the hair base in various colors. The hair base is stunning. It has got a little bit of seamage there. Again, I'm not wearing a head that is necessarily the head the creator is wearing. So I don't care about that. That's, that's my thing to work out or I can wear any other hair base. And then you look at this ponytail. I mean, this thing is amazing. How regal do I look? I look fabulous. And the movement is amazing. So that is the Amir ponytail with the Naomi hair base by Just Her on the Streaks region. Another great store at Hair Fair this, this year and joining us for the first time as an accessories creator was David Heather and I wasn't the only one that was so excited because I actually watched a customer of his uh, trying on not just the accessories but she was also adding his outfits to her look and creating outfits right there in the moment and she looked fabulous. And this is the Fair hat which is just so fluffy looking and so soft and I got that in a few different colors and then we have the wrap which is just amazing look at that that's so elegant so you can wear that with let's throw on the hair base look at that oh my goodness that's so like 1920s look at that beautiful beautiful and as I would do I could run down here and I could put on the neck blender and I would be super super gorgeous <laughs> see that looks oh with the kiss curls and the hat and I would just have to move my ears into place but I won't worry about that for now and that is the uh, the fair wrap so you have the fair hat and the fair wrap and they are just divine I feel like some sort of fabulously fashionable unicorn <laughs> from the front but look at that it's just a really beautiful design and I just miss having the opportunity in SL to just really really get my uh, happy styling on so what have we got here yeah we go all tucked in and nice nice and warm now and that is the Fair Wrap and the Fair Hat by David Heather. Next up we have Farga, also on the Streaks region at Hair Fair 2021. Now, I've put them in the folder, but I just want it to be very clear. The Style HUD is sold separately. I think that's amazing. Okay, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> there is so much work that goes into making a hairstyle in so many different variations that choose give people the option to just pay the regular price and just get the one option or pay a little bit extra um, and get all options is just 
it's just great and the creators of the hair should be paid for that extra effort because they're losing hairstyles by including all the variants of hairstyles in one so this is Jamila and it is just a beautiful style I'll look just getting her getting her self into position and this is the style hut what I like about the style hut too is the style hut also includes the hair colors so you don't have to put on one HUD and then put on the other HUD to work that out uh, once you've got the style HUD you've got the style HUD and the hair textures are beautiful they change really quickly and they're all included and then you've also got the option to uh, tint which is fun oh oh I can be minty and you can save them I guess with those options there we go back to white and we've got the styles so you've got forward with the animation then you've got showing on the left showing on the right and behind the shoulders which I've mentioned before is my favorite option especially for dresses like this one by Bastici and that is Jamila and then you have the Laneth and that is oh look at that I added instead of silly me okay so that's Lyneth and she's a bun bun style I love bun buns <laughs> and as you can see I got the add-on style HUD because it makes me happy and then I can do behind the shoulders again right left and forward I love this hairstyle the buns the hair bases oh I'm wearing the wrong one look at that because the hair base is a little bit tight on my head so I need the L L plus oh I need the L plus plus because of my chest see all these different things you have to think about there we go now I'm perfect <laughs> My mum says so on occasion. It depends. <laughs> it depends on what I've done. Okay, so there we go. It just it's just a beautiful, beautiful style. And the as I mentioned, so that's the style HUD that I purchased. So if you don't purchase that, as you can see here, you would just get the forward and the rest are grayed out, showing you what you could have. And what I love again is that because it is separately like that. And it was only a couple of linden, like, I want to say 150. Um, you could just live this way. And then when you really, really want to go, you could run over and just grab the styling HUD. So, and then you get all the same colors options that you have. Oh, I like these. Look, these look like denim colors. Very nice, very nice. But I like these baby pinky sort of colors I should click the HUD in the right place shouldn't I there we go okay <laughs> so that is the Laneth and they're by Farga and they are just beautiful hairstyles I can't wait to see more hairstyles from them in the future and lastly <laughs> I do mean lastly because this is the last one this is beauty and uh, I've got to show you something for a second because this cracked me up. This is <laughs> These are their unpack unpackers and all I could see was bye, 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 bye. <laughs> the E and the S <laughs> just sort of get lost. Bye, bye. I will, I will. I did as I was told. But <laughs> I thought that that was really cool. I kind of want her to make the E and the S smaller font just to be tricky in the future. <laughs> might have to I am here about that okay so this is the Cora hairstyle and the booth just looked adorable there was this amazing graphic of a skeletal hand and a non-skeletal hand holding hands and I, I just really really liked it okay so this is Cora and Cora has a jewel tone which I'll show you in a second and then you've got all the different color packs so gray cells ombres pastels let's play with the pastels for a second so I'm gonna throw this on so you've got blue beautiful and then you've got the pink 
and you've got this lilac color okay let's go back over here and we're going to grab the ombres just trying to decide which jewel tone I want so then there's this one oh that's beautiful okay that will be the one I'll play with and then you add the jewel tone HUD okay and then you get to add the jewel tone so for this kind of color I'm gonna try this one oh it's not dark enough let's try this one. Oh, look at that that is so cute so pretty oh, I love this that is so cool and then you could do that whole Cruella thing again <laughs> I really should see that movie because I keep I keep referring to it the new one I'm talking about not the original of course I've seen the original but so there is the hair in the black and then you've got to go over here oh there's no real white white though but this will work oh I like it I like it a lot look so pretty and that <laughs> I got a bit too excited didn't I okay so that is Cora you can tell I really don't want it to end have you worked that out yet I just don't want it to end for me my brain just can't take it anymore and this is the Lyra hairstyle and she has bangs straight across the bangs I do like I do like and let's try a different let's go with the blondes this time let's go this one. Oh, that's very plain oh I like that one look at that one or even this one this one hmm I like that one and then we go with the jewel tone and we can add oh see this jewel tone is different this jewel tone is a half and half oh look at that that is so fun so you could even go with something like this oh that makes me happy and then you see they are so cute now I have a bit of an ear problem again but I'm all good with that because how cute do I look with my sticky out ears <laughs> so that is the Lyra hairstyle oh I was so sad <laughs> I really want to cry right now so hold on I'm gonna find a reason to keep keep filming okay this is gonna be my reason to keep filming so every year as you know bandanas happen and these are all the ones I picked up and not just the bandanas but we have the the hair fair hairs which uh, Anya Omai made for us a few years ago and between Anya and Mel and myself uh, I do something to them every year to make them a little bit more unique and people have been collecting them over the years which is so much fun and they are transfer and 100% donation of the bandanas and the hair for hair goes to wigs for kids directly there's no splits or anything in that stuff but I wanted to show you this year's <laughs> hair fair hairs so this is the punk one look at him he is punk he has eyebrow piercing and a nose piercing and he has ear piercings look at that <laughs> and his bandana is a union jack but with a tartan motif so he's like doing it <laughs> and you can get him in blonde red uh, brown or black and that's the punk hair which <laughs> I couldn't help myself I just thought it was too funny to have a punk hair which is a hair that's a bunny not a hair that's a style <laughs> and then we have pumper and pumper is juiced <laughs> so he's got his little energy drink which is ginger carrot and beetroot look at that it's very very healthy and he's lifting weights with his other little paw and his bandana is fabulous and it's actually a watercolor cabbage <laughs> so he's so completely health conscious he's fabulous 
<laughs> and that is pumper hair and then Pierre and as I keep saying to Mel I can't believe it took me this many years to do this one but this is the perfect little Pierre Pierre is a little stylist and he has cut off somebody's hair so they can donate it to Wigs for Kids and I love him because he is completely on point for the whole event and it's just remarkable and I love you <laughs> I'm gushing now I just do I just love them the hair their hairs are just fun and you've probably seen them in super size um, all over the all over the event and they're just wonderful and you can of course get the matching bandana separately for your own head and there's just a whole lot of other bandanas there that were created by individuals who either decorated uh, the ones that we provided or they created their own and we are forever grateful because the donations and the purchases of the bandanas and the hair fair hairs this year have topped previous years so that's been amazing so thank you to everybody and this is my last post so thank you for watching and enjoying and bye